Jacob Landau is an American artist. He died in 2001, as well as an artist. He was a teacher, retired as a professor emeritus from Pratt Institute in Brooklyn. Very much uh, committed in his art to the advocacy, as he says, the advocacy of the human, the uh, revelation of the tragic, and the hope of transcendence. The Holocaust Suite is comprised of seven black and white prints. One of the remarkable things about this suite and part of its power is that Jacob was not the, a Holocaust survivor himself, nor the son of a Holocaust survivor, but purely an imaginative witness of these events, the events that haunted him, uh, that he heard uh, about through eyewitnesses. In the background, there is the actual events as they unfold in history of the Holocaust. And in the, in the foreground, what becomes more important is as they unfold within us in our experience. There are two stories braided together through this. And there's always this public story and this private story. And there's, it's, it's the kind of historical events on the one hand, and then the personal experience on the other hand of the suite. And the artist, all the artist has to work with is the human, the human figure is central to this. The imagination of the human is, of course, you know, about suffering. It is the human body that suffers. Because the Holocaust suite raises the question of what it is to be human. We assume we know. The only way I can express that turmoil, that kind of tragedy at the same time, any kind of, of transcendence, is through the gestures and postures of these people and through this black color that he uses throughout there. An instructor who is purely looks at the Holocaust from a, from a historical point of view, this suite can capture them. If they uh, make themselves open to the images, they allow themselves to make companions of those images, then those images will have a visceral impact on them. And they can communicate that impact of these people on them to other teachers. The question that is always posed to us of what it means to be human, choosing cruelty or choosing compassion, and then any teacher can pursue it uh, as they like and given their interests and whatnot, they can then take an historical attack, they can take a literary uh, track, they can take an art and materials track. But the key thing is that it starts with the visceral experience of this suite, these seven prints.